Hi guys, it's Paula. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. I haven't done one of these in a little bit, but this week might be exciting. <laughs> There's just like one thing going on on Thursday that I'll tell you about later, but um, I wanted to document this week. Also, I got a new bookshelf and I'm really obsessed with it. It is Monday. Um, I'm going to work. Still plugging along on Mayans. We are in episode six, so more than halfway done. Um, we wrap in the end of April, which seems close, but also far, because I just like, want to be done. I need to stop by the UPS store and drop off my newly, um, which I completely forgot about until they reminded me that I guess it's due today. But that's fun, because then I can pick out new items. This box is actually really good. Everything fit, which is pretty rare. Usually there's one, like I get pants in the wrong size or something, but I had some really good stuff in here. I think that's it for this morning. I just wanted to start off this video and you're gonna see my face um, for the next week, week of my life, you know? Bad hair day today, so it looks like I um, don't have any hair, but it's just in a little clip. So good morning from me and the Backstreet Boys. Um, and I will see you guys probably after work. Bye. Hi. I just got home from work. I'm about to make some dinner and I thought I would show you. I got a free week of meals from Every Plate, which is basically HelloFresh, but it, it is it is a bit cheaper. Sorry, I banged my camera on the cupboard. I was looking at their pricing options, like if I were to keep getting it and it is cheaper than HelloFresh, but I'm gonna complain about it for a little bit, so. Buckle in. Instead of HelloFresh, you know, giving you little bags pre-packaged with all of your recipes, all of your produce just comes in this box, which is fine. You know, it probably saves them a lot of work just to like put them all in the box. But um, my box came with three meals. I've already made two of them and both of those meals were missing ingredients and that pissed me off. If you're gonna market yourself as a meal kit service and then you forget parts of the meal kit, like what are you doing? I know there's a cream cheese shortage in the US right now, which is weird, but they forgot the cream cheese and sour cream and they left out like the seasoning packets. So I just had to improvise <laughs> and it was really annoying. But this is my last one, it's loaded pork potato wedges. I mean, it sounds great, but already I'm seeing sour cream again, which they did not give me. I do have some, I think it's expired but it might be fine <laughs> and then there's also a southwest spice that i'm supposed to have don't have that oh great and i'm supposed to have two chicken stock concentrates i have neither of those I, <laughs> like hello <laughs> Ugh, i don't mind like the southwest spice i could just like use garlic powder or something because that might actually taste better to me but chicken stock concentrates, I have nothing to substitute. So I guess there just won't be as much flavor as there's supposed to be. I don't recommend this. I got a free week, so I can't be that mad about it. I just paid for shipping to get like a free food, you know? Um, but if you have tried every plate or like subscribe, let me know what you think. Do they always do this? Or did I just get a terrible, terrible box? <laughs> Here's the final product. I just threw it on the plate because I'm so hungry. You can't even tell that there's potatoes in here, but supposed to be like a like a nachos thing on top of potatoes live first bite reaction let's get a little bit of everything on a potato mmm it's pretty good it's pretty good <laughs> I won't lie I mean anything on a base of crispy potatoes is gonna be good hi guys today is Tuesday um, and it's after work I'm home hi I wanted to talk about books for a little bit how perfect is this like you can see all my books it's kind of sad that I only have two shelves um, but I know that I need to probably stop buying them for a while until I have a chance to read everything that I own so I got this new bookshelf as you can see let me tilt down here I put it on my little steps to nowhere <laughs> these are the steps that lead to um, there used to be a door here into my landlord's place and then they took it out so I have two steps to nowhere and I wanted to do something fun to like emphasize it and I think this bookshelf is perfect I wanted a ladder bookshelf this whole time um, but there you know if you buy it online or buy it new it can be like over a hundred dollars and I'm just like no 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 I was browsing Facebook marketplace and offer up 
so often to find like a decently priced used one. And then this beauty came into my life. She was $50, which I don't think is a bad price. On Sunday, I took the most beautiful drive up to Sierra Madre, which is only like 25, 30 minutes from here. And it was sunset at the time I was going and oh my God, it was beautiful going through the mountains and coming home and like seeing the sunset over the city. I could see like downtown and the sunset and over like a cliff. It was amazing. Most fun drive I've ever had. And I had this bookshelf in my back seat and I was ready to come home and set it up. So then I did and I put all of my books in rainbow order because that's very satisfying for me. This is a work in progress. I have some jewelry up here as you can see, but it, we haven't figured that out yet. And then down here I'm keeping like some liquor bottles and some Valentine's Day cards. Anyway, I wanted to show you some of the books that I got recently. I know that I just did a book haul, but believe it or not, since then I've bought more. Not that many more. I just went to Target one day and bought four books and no one could stop me. <laughs> Were they all blue? <laughs> I'm looking on my shelf trying to figure out which ones I bought recently. I have so many more blue books than like pink or yellow. Okay, this is a new one. This is Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. I bought this because of the Michael Buble song. That's all I can think of, Just Haven't Met You Yet. 10 out of 10 song. And I'm hoping this is a 10 out of 10 book. This seems like a generic romance, your average romance book. Someone grabs the wrong suitcase in the airport. Um, and of course the suitcase belongs to this girl's dream man. He's so hot. And then she has to uh, find him, <laughs> give his suitcase back kind of thing. So there's that one. Another blue book. I'm actually very excited that I found this at Target for I think it was $8 because it's just a paperback. I've seen people trying to upsell this for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. Hello, are you okay? Anyway, this is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. She is taking the world by storm, so all of her books are blowing up and I'm like so overpriced now and people are selling them secondhand. I'm not exactly sure what this is about. I think it's about a toxic relationship, some, some very ugly love. I don't know, I've heard good things about it and that it's very like deep and makes you really ooh, feel things, so I don't know. Okay, I also got the love hypothesis. This one is so hyped up, but I've heard so many good things about this. It is a romance. This girl is getting her PhD. Um, she has some sort of bet with her friend where she has to kiss the first man that she sees. Turns out it's this guy and he's like a very uh, grumpy professor. Um, but then of course they fall in love. They pretend to like fake date or whatever. And I'm excited to read it. It sounds like so cheesy, but I've only heard good things about it. Oh, there's the fourth one. It is red. Then the last one I got is Good Girl, Bad Blood. This is actually the sequel to, oh, I don't have it right now because I lent it to a friend, to um, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It is the sequel to that. And I don't know why I'm just getting around to buying this now, but I liked the first one, liked the story, and I'm excited to get back into these characters. And I'm realizing there's a third one now, so it's a trilogy. Who knew? Oh, then oh, my book of the month came yesterday and I got the Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I have been so excited for this. I'm more now than ever before so into like booktube and not necessarily book talk because I just don't go on TikTok a lot, but I feel like I know what books are coming out and what I should get excited for and like authors that I like and things that sound interesting. And Book of the Month now offers seven books to choose from instead of five. And a majority of the books they were offering I had heard of before and I was like, oh, this is like so-and-so's anticipated read. Like people are excited that this is coming out and a lot of them sounded familiar to me. I'm like, I'm finally like in the community. <laughs> but I knew that I was looking forward to this because The Guest List by Lucy Foley, one of my favorite thrillers. I think also I lent that to a friend a long time ago so I don't have that on my shelf. And this kind of has the same premise as the guest list. I don't know if Lucy always writes in that style where she kind of highlights five different characters and switches perspectives between them and throughout time until you know at the end one of these five is usually the one that's revealed to be the killer or you know whatever's going on here. I was very excited that this was one of the choices and I'm definitely going to be reading this next and I love that it's pink. She will look so cute in my pink section. 
So that's that. Um, tell me what book you got in your book of the month. And I'm sweating and um, I'm going to go watch The Bachelor Women Tell All at Rachel's house and I will talk to you guys another time. Goodbye. Hi guys. This is spooky. I thought maybe this candle would provide some lighting. It's just very scary. <laughs> Things have taken a turn for the worse. Today's Wednesday. I didn't go to work today. I am in so much pain. It's a weird glare on these. Sorry. You guys know I have a lot of back problems <laughs> and I always sound like an 80 year old woman when I talk about it. But I woke up today and literally couldn't move. I can only remember like being that immobile one time in like 2020 and I had to call off of work and just like lay in bed and not move. Um, so that was today, <laughs> but luckily I have an amazing friend and boss in my gal Rachel and she came over and brought me like a little um, bag of stuff that she has that has really been helping throughout the day so I'm gonna talk about some of it. Honestly, thank God for her. Um, ooh, see, I just stood up and it wasn't easy, but it wasn't as bad as it was this morning. This is actually really amazing. Um, it's from Sagely Naturals and it's a CBD cream. I don't know how this works, but it's kind of magical. You just rub it on an area where you're feeling pain and it doesn't go away completely, but it definitely helps, especially the act of like massaging my lower back, but like also with a CBD cream. CBD is kind of magical I feel like and I haven't really tapped into all of its possibilities before but I think I definitely need to have some of this on standby for times like this and then I also put on one of these lidocaine patches I have no idea what lidocaine is um but that helped as well it was very cooling and I felt like it helped my pain and then I took a nap and she gave me some like painkillers and like, pills and stuff and other things that I didn't get into like tea and a box of cookies I just like I'm gonna cry it's too much it's too sweet I can't <laughs> I do feel a little bit better than this morning um it hurts equally to stand and sit and to lay down so that's the hard thing is that you think like laying in bed will solve all your problems but it also hurts to lay down and it hurts to sit on this couch and watch tv and like I'm still doing it. I'm watching the Darcy and Stacy tell all and I just watched the bachelor women tell all so we're getting a lot of tell alls today while I recover um but I think it's getting better so hopefully I am back to normal tomorrow or at least like a functioning level <laughs> yeah if any of you have back issues or just chronic pain in general um you know that it's not fun and I definitely wish I could be cured and also numb. I just want to like go numb for a little bit. That's the update. I just wanted to let you all know how I'm doing better than before. Maybe I should like put this heating pad on or make some tea. I don't know. Um, yeah, I hope your day was great. Okay. Bye. Hello guys. Good morning. It's Thursday. I'm standing. So that's good. <laughs> I do feel better than I did yesterday. You know, I didn't cry when I rolled out of bed. I was able to get up. Definitely still hurts. Um, it feels better to stand than sit. So I know sitting at work in my office chair like all day is gonna suck, but I have a lot of things that I need to catch up on. Today though, after work, I have a very exciting appointment that I'm like a little bit scared of, but overall excited. I am getting laser hair removal. I've been thinking about it for a while and then I just thought like what am I waiting for? I'm just gonna freaking do it. I called laser away. That's where I'm going and my first appointment is today. So if you don't know anything about laser hair removal, which I didn't until honestly I watched a bunch of other people's videos kind of talking about their experiences, but you sign up for a program of like, I think there's eight sessions and you go back every six weeks and they do it again so you know it's like a laser gun kind of thing and they you know go over your areas and it kills the hair follicles but it doesn't like kill them all so that's why you have to go back multiple times because new hair growth can happen and then they they kill all of it eventually <laughs> um after eight sessions or so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen and what kind of results I'm gonna get. Um, they tell you to shave everything before your appointment. 
um i mean it's easier that way but also the more hair that you have the more that it's gonna hurt um so I'm, <laughs> that's kind of what i'm apprehensive about i don't know if it's gonna hurt or if it's gonna be you know okay or like bearable but i shaved everything last night it was really difficult because i could not bend over and shave my legs <laughs> it was so painful but i'm like i have to do this i have to so i did that um my appointment is after work today so that's nice that they stay open um until like 8 p.m which is really great so my appointment is at 7 15 and um I don't know what's gonna happen but I'll be sure to tell you all about it and hopefully things go well. They make you sign a bunch of, well, I don't want to say waivers, but just like a lot of forms, a lot of consent forms and they're like, hi you're agreeing to do this and to have like a laser on your skin. Just so you know, there's alternatives to this. You could wax, you could shave, you could not do a damn thing. You don't have to do this. Are you sure you want to do it? And I said yes. I'm sure that I want to do this. Hopefully nothing bad happens. I haven't heard any horror stories or anything, but, you know, just the amount of waivers that they had you sign. I'm like, is it, like, should I be doing this? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm wearing this funky shirt from Nasty Gal. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I tried to wear it one day, like, buttoned up, like a little oversized button up, and it just looked ridiculous. So I thought it'd look a little, like, more casual, left open and stuff let me know what you think oh i made breakfast this morning and i was just about to take a bite of my toast and realize there was mold on it so i didn't eat breakfast and i immediately threw out my entire loaf of bread i barely have any groceries <laughs> um, so we're really thriving here i should stop and pick up some breakfast before i go to work i think i have time because i'm a little bit early so i'm going to pop my back brace on <laughs> get in my car <laughs> and go to work and then get my hair follicles lasered off <laughs> and um it's gonna be a great day i will keep you guys updated peace okay you're on a very precarious tripod it's my water bottle <laughs> hi i'm home i made some dinner this looks terrible it's a cheddar broccoli mac and cheese um listen i don't know i'm back and i'm here to tell you about what happened i think i said before but i chose laser away um it was just like the easiest one i have no idea like price comparisons or how my experience was different than other places that do it but i'm sure they all have different ways of doing it but i went to laser away which i think is like very national so very accessible to a lot of people oh yeah that tastes interesting everyone there was super nice um the sessions last about like 30 to 45 minutes depending on how much you're doing i did half legs so the bottom of my legs just because my upper leg like the hair is not very dark and thick there so i'm like i'll get away with it and then i did bikini and i did my underarms so based on what you're doing and how many areas you're doing um the cost is going to go up and like it's not cheap I'll, I'll tell you that but you pay for like i said before you have to do eight sessions so you pay for like the whole package and they do payment plans kind of thing so that's what i'm doing or i'm sure you could pay for it all right then right there but that's not something i want to do at this time so i walked in um you know it's kind of like a doctor's appointment like a gyno they tell you like okay put this towel on <laughs> we started with my underarms it's the smallest area honestly I mean, I didn't know what to expect if it was going to hurt. People were talking about a numbing cream. I know that's a thing, but she did not even offer it. Or like, I don't even know if they had it. I didn't see anything like that in the room. So maybe they just don't do that. But there was no numbing cream. But it's fine. I didn't need it. So what they do at Laser Way is they have this, this little thing. And it, just, it looks like a laser pointer. And it shoots out a laser <laughs> and then at the same time they blast you with cold air which is kind of amazing so we started with my underarm and she's like okay i'm gonna do it like let me know what it feels like so of course you have the anticipation you're like it's like before you get a shot or like a needle in your arm you're like oh my god it's gonna be terrible she did the first one she's like that's it and like i didn't feel anything nothing at all so the underarms literally didn't feel a pinprick nothing at all so would recommend <laughs> like no pain whatsoever and then we did the legs 
which I mean legs are like a big surface area so it takes a little bit longer the armpits was like 30 seconds done the legs I did feel a little bit more but it's nothing terrible most of the time you don't feel it around your ankles for some reason she said like hair is thicker down in your ankles so you feel it more but it just feels like someone stuck you with a needle for two seconds which doesn't sound fun you know but think of like a sewing needle and you accidentally like prick your finger or something that's what it feels like but at the same time you're getting blasted with this cold air so it's like a little prick but then it's cold so it's I mean it's not like the best feeling in the world but most of the time you don't feel it where you do feel it is your bikini area let me tell you it still wasn't terrible at no point was I like stop I can't continue it's too much but it was definitely the most painful part but again not like terrible at certain points it was like <gasps> oh <laughs> but there's cold air and the cold air feels amazing and in the long run like I'm gonna be so happy that I did it I feel like the two biggest reservations with laser hair removal is the price and the pain the price not good I'll tell you <laughs> I, don't know. I mean I didn't do any like price comparison shopping maybe I should have but I just I went the easy way out I don't know but the pain that like is truly nothing and I'm sure the first one hurts the most because you're literally burning your hair follicles <laughs> But then when I keep going back, like by my eighth session, it's going to be, first of all, a familiar feeling, nothing I'm dreading, but also not that bad because my hair is being burned away. We love that. That's about it. It was quick. Um, I came home. Well, I went to Trader Joe's because I have no breakfast foods because everything was rotting this morning. <laughs> and now I'm here. Yeah, that's about it. If you have any more questions about it, leave a comment down below or if you don't want to like ask publicly you can dm me or whatever but it's not scary i'm glad i did it and i have seven more sessions to go so i'm gonna eat this frankly terrible meal and watch tv or read or something and um that's my thursday also i'm like fully healed i mean it still kind of hurts to move my lower back always hurts what do we expect um but i'm like pretty much mobile again so that's good yesterday was not good Today's fine. Good morning. This is the worst lighting I've ever had in my life. Um, I just want to say Trader Joe's should be jailed for not cutting their bagels. Like, why do they sell bagels not pre-cut? What am I supposed to do? Cut it myself? I don't have the right knife. Hi guys, good morning. It is Saturday. Um, yesterday we had a bit of a setback. <laughs> I was putting my purse in my car and I was like bending over and as I stood back up, my back went out again and it was terrible. So yesterday was pretty painful. Today I am feeling better. I'm not crying again. I feel like it, it takes like a full day for the pain to kind of subside and it's bearable again. Today we were going to uh, go to Swallows Day, which I had never heard of, but apparently it's a parade in Orange County. It's kind of like Mardi Gras, but in Orange County. I don't know. It's supposed to be like crazy. You just get drunk and <laughs> you have fun. Um, I realized I am in no place to do that my body cannot handle that right now <laughs> so we're not gonna do that but Rachel's gonna come over in a little bit and we're going to have a business meeting is what we're calling it um we're basically gonna talk about what we want our future to look like and like what projects we want to take next after this so we'll see what happens but until then I wanted to talk about um, a very exciting company that sent me some items that truly I'm in love with like I'm not just saying this I picked up three things and I am obsessed with all of them so the website is called be kind shop be like b-e-e -E, and they have so many cute jewelry items they're all designed like with a bee theme and I'm not obsessed with bees by any means <laughs> but something about the collection is 
so cute and they donate 10% of their profits to help save the bees. So the first thing I picked out is actually this necklace that I've been wearing. It's a little like sunflower and it's gorgeous. It's gold. You know, I only wear gold and I am just in love with this. We have a lot of flowers going on like my Shawn Mendes merch, um, but here is the sunflower. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I also picked out these earrings that I was wearing earlier in the week. Sorry, my nails look trash. I'm about to paint them in a second. They're so cute. It's a little dainty hoop with this gold flower on it. I've been loving more dainty gold earrings instead of like you guys know how many like statement earrings I have um, I'm kind of over it <laughs> I just want to wear some like dainty little hoops actually they're cute let, let me wear them right now this will go with my look today of wearing different kinds of flowers oh and this is the box that they came in especially for you with literally a sunflower in it it's so cute. The third thing, I'm biased, but it's my favorite. It's not a jewelry item. It's a new best friend. <laughs> this is Beatrice. Um, I named her that. It's not, she didn't come with that name. <laughs> she is the cutest little bee plushie. I'm obsessed. Why are bees my new favorite animal? I didn't know they could be this cute. The best thing is, and this is <laughs> such an odd review, but the best thing is, she is the perfect size and firmness to put behind my back when I'm sitting in a chair <laughs> and it feels great. I brought her to work the past two days and just plopped her in my chair and sat with my lower back like against her and I, I did squish her a little bit but she got over it um, and it was perfect. So not only is she cute and an amazing friend, look at her six little legs. Um, she helped my back pain. <laughs> Truly could not ask for anything more. So, I'm obsessed with everything from the Be Kind shop. I have a 20% off code for you guys if you are intrigued by any of this, or at least just go give the site a look. I swear there's so many cute things. My code is 2simple20. I will have that link down below. But, um, go save the bees, y'all. And you could go get a Beatrice for yourself. Yay! Okay, I need to paint my nails. Um, I'm doing this light lacquer shade in melon collie, like the melon, because it looks like a, a green little honeydew melon. I was obsessed with this color. I don't need to buy any more nail polish for the rest of my life, but her spring collection came out and I bought three of them. Anyway, I'm gonna paint my nails. Hi, I look very tired. It's because I am. <laughs> it's Sunday, it's the end of my weekend. I didn't really vlog this weekend, just because I was enjoying it, you know, but I wanted to end the vlog here so I can start another one tomorrow for another week. Um, something exciting might be happening on Tuesday. It could not happen. <laughs> I'm being really annoyed <laughs> even saying this right now, but um, just in case it does happen, I'm going to do another weekly vlog. So get ready for that. I just finished The Love Hypothesis. Read it in like three days. <laughs> It was great. I loved it. And now to pick out a new book. Oh, I ended up ordering It Ends With Us off a of Facebook Marketplace. And it was only like $10. I feel like I talked about this with the other Colleen Hoover book. But so many people on Facebook Marketplace are trying to scan this for like literally $20 or $25. And like for a paperback book. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, but I got it from a normal person who was selling it for a normal price. So I might read this one next or like I said, I think, well, let's do the Paris apartment next because I like to keep on track with my book of the month books. And that's all for me for this week. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave some comments down below and make sure you're subscribed and I will be back before you know it with another vlog. <laughs> okay. Bye.